the nations I had seen this time arising and now I find my answers in your eyes so all I want is another day of dancing and the children laughing as this age rolls by no I ain't waiting for some new tomorrow she's here today been rolling with the years and I still expect my own fair share of sorrow while I am watching for my angels to appear still I have faith that future generation We'll speak a language that we've never had And this spirit that will fly beyond the nations When their good times roll When their good times roll From what has now gone bad Nor to believe those things I once believed At the end of ages, judgments all run hollow There's a future waiting yet to be conceived I sing glory to the generation rising. Ain't no need to tell them all those ways I've sinned. Just be sure to leave them plenty room for dancing. And they might just throw my ashes to the wind. From the nations I had seen this time arising And now I find my answer in your eyes So all I want another day of dancing And the children laughing as the sage rolls by No, I ain't waiting For some new tomorrow Well, she's here today She been rolling with the years And I still expect my own fair share of sorrow I for my angels to appear. Still I have faith that future generation will speak a language that we've never had and their spirit will fly beyond the nations when their good times roll. Good times rolling from what has now gone bad. No, I ain't asking any one to follow or to believe those things I once believed. At the end of ages, judgments all run high. Yet to be conceived. Come on, sing glory to the generation rising. Ain't no need to 
tell them all those ways we've sinned. Then be sure to leave them plenty room for dancing. And they might just throw our ashes to the wind. <laughs> that was Hello, Mitch. wonderful. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> thank you for that. Thank well, you for that. Well, thank you. Thank you for the time. Bala is an old friend of mine, and uh, Bala Lyons, and uh, also known as Lawrence Lyons, that we've known him by for many, many years. You know, Bala is Bala. So yes, Lawrence Lyons is Lawrence Lyons, but there's no such person as Bala Lyons. There's no synthesis, <laughs> there's no, no, no synergy, no. there's no, no meaning no, of no. the mind. Actually, actually Lawrence body? Lyons is virtually dead. He exists on paper. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. But Bala is a spirit that is alive. You were meeting my friend Bala. <laughs> 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 Once known as Lawrence Lyons. Anyway, Bala has a background, a very rich background, as a writer and a linguist. And uh, he's done a lot. He's been in the... Uh, holistic healing world, the communal world of dealing with echo villages and environments, and he's just a wonderful wizard, as you can see by his even <laughs> physical <laughs> manifestation. And I'm so glad to share this with you and to hear what you've been conceiving. You live in a place and you're quiet and you're concentrated, and then every so often I hear from you, and so I'm delighted that mm -hmm. you came forth and mm -hmm. brought your song. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the song. I love some of the lyrics of, mm -hmm. wow, about, you know, the the day of, of, of judgment um, ringing hollow at the end of the ages. And yes, oh, this is yes, precisely. Really that, that, beautiful. That's what we're going through. Yeah. And that's the chaos that we're going through. It began like the dawning of the age of Aquarius back in the 60s. Yeah. Right? So we're just at, the, like, it, each age is supposedly uh, 2,160 years. That, that's astrological. That's one calculation. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's if, if there were 12 of them, in fact, if you take 12 times 2,160, you will come very close to what astronomers will talk about when they talk about the retrograde equinoxial precession. So uh -huh. it's a science and a, a yes, it's exactly. the same, pretty, very, very close. Mm -hmm. So looking at it in those terms, we're just beginning the age of Aquarius. Yes. And the age of well, astrologers say the same thing. Yeah, so. Yeah, sure. so the age of Aquarius is really, if you look at those two lines that go ziggity, 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 mm -hmm. that's really male and female energy aligning. And so all this struggle we're feeling between patriarchal nations and the three God the Fathers, the Jewish God the Father, the Christian God the Father, the Islamic God the Father, they're all trying to figure out who they are right now. They're trying to kind of get together. They are, or <laughs> we're trying to figure out who they are. Well, that's that. The perfect idea is, where did the father come from? And you know, there's only one ape amongst all the five apes. We've got the bonobo, the chimpanzee, the orangutan, the gorilla, and the human ape. The other four apes don't have to figure out fathering. There's only one ape that's trying to figure out what's a father supposed to. The other ones, they already know. They say, well, we know what fathers are. You know, they do this, and they do that, and they go away, and they, you know, wander off. And they, you know. Well, they bring food. They, yeah, do well, lots of things. They you, have a biological knowing. Yes. Without the mental yes. constructs yes. of. Yes. And they don't have fire. And if you know the difference between the bonobo and the chimp, the bonobo settles everything with sex, but the bonobo doesn't have tools. The chimp the has tools. Does. Yes, the chimp oh, has tools. Yes. So human beings are kind In of our, the, our <laughs> DNA is just as much like either the bonobo or the chimp. It's just so yes, it's just like in between those. So we're like a little bit bonobo and a little bit chimp. Sort of like Bala Lawrence. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're close <laughs> <on> that. <laughs> and and so what this fight in what we call Jerusalem is really all about is about trying to find what is the father supposed to do, okay? Interesting, it's supposed to do. Yeah, what's supposed Why to do? Why do you bring Jerusalem in as the place where we're seeking as a human uh, community mm -hmm. that answer? 
Good. I mean, is it not something we're looking for everywhere? Because what it has is two linguistic components. Okay. One of the Geru Shalom can mean the possession of peace. Mm -hmm. But Jerusalem can also mean the possession of Solomon. So there's where Solomon's temple comes in. Are we looking for peace or are we looking towards peace? Remember Solomon had... Um, Queen seven of Sheba. <laughs> Well, that goes back to, yeah, well, I, I, I'll go through that. The Queen of Sheba it has to do with an oath. That, that's swearing an oath, and that has to do with David and Solomon and the yes, oath. Yes. Okay. Um, but the idea of his concubine and his wives, I mean, well, he had 7, 700 wives and 300 concubines, 300 concubines and 700 wives. Um, I don't think Solomon could tell the difference, you know. And when they talk about the wisdom of Solomon, when they say, well, he was supposed to cut a baby in half. Remember the old story, two sure. women come to him and say, oh, whose baby is this? And they say, oh, I'm going to cut the baby in half. And they say, no, 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 don't cut the baby in half. And Solomon, in all his wisdom, says, well, therefore, it's your... Well, <laughs> if those two women did not believe mm -hmm. that Solomon would cut the baby in half, they would have said, oh, Solomon, you're just kidding. But it is an indication of Solomon's character that they responded as if he might do that. How different is that, since we're speaking Jewish here, is that from Abraham willing to do similar to his own son? Precisely. That's what we're talking archetype. about. We're talking about fathering. We're yes. talking about fathering. So exactly. you could Precisely. say that there is a Jewish history of confusion around the father. Well, <laughs> when you look at you the... You can really come to that conclusion. And if you also look at Jewish history from the time of the departure from Egypt, the Exodus, there is so much bloodshed in the name of the Jewish father, God. It is unbelievable. And it is not often said, but interestingly, on the History Channel of all places, they did, it's basically a military history of Judaism. And you want to cry. Mm -hmm. You mean, because basically entire cities were decimated mm -hmm. of other people in the name of the father God that they were receiving mm -hmm. their instructions from their mm -hmm. marching mm -hmm. orders. Anyway, I don't know what bearing that has when on Moses your When Moses told us, when Moses came down and saw the golden calf and all that stuff, mm -hmm. he said to them about their family structure, he said, in the beginning, it, he said, the hearts of men are too hard to listen. In the beginning, it was not so. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, now what did he mean? Adam and Eve were a monogamous couple. Okay. Not to mention there weren't anyone else around. Well, that's that's the <laughs> that makes that's it a little easier. That's the story. Yeah. You know what the word wife means? Actually, go when you trace wife back, you will it's find it's Anglo-Saxon, isn't it? It's related to the word vibe, as in vibration. Whoa. Yeah, and the word husband means housebound. Housebound to, yeah. hu to husband is a she verb is the, the having to do with caring for actually for animals, isn't it? Animal well, that that been? that has that comes out of that Afterwards, being actually. bound to the house because okay. the, the animals would be the, that would he would take and care of. And you want to be uh, bound to the house with a good vibe, with a good vibe, and yeah. the vibe is the home. So, woman is the vibe, and if he abides by the vibe, then he's house bound. So that's where the well, the then he becomes close to the hearth. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's Kundalini rising. Mm. That's, see, the, the fire is here, yeah. but when the heart's on fire, that means the kundalini is going it's upward. Rising, exactly, okay. like vapor. To the <laughs> yeah, vapors. <laughs> Love those vapors. Yes. But where does vibe come from? Well, that's, that's what I, I was just. Now, I, I don't want to go too far off, but you I, know these. I want to write this. Th I, I just wrote this because of your, your, kind of led me into this. Okay. I worship a condescending, superstitious, superstitious. A condescending, superstitious bigot of whom I am suspicious. I worship a condescending, superstitious bigot of whom I am suspicious. Now listen to all those words. Condescending. What if my mother and father were just lifting me up? They were condescending, the two of them together. When you take the mother and father God Descending and put them together, with, they, are, they are superstitious, which means they stand above. Yeah, right, okay? above bigot sure. means two gods. So I've got a condescending, superstitious bigot of which I am suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious means to look up. To at. go right, right. <laughs> so, exactly. so when you listen, this is why I say we to need to be under. Uh, we like, yes to be understood as such. 
Which is to also spe spe to speculate. A little speck of dust turns into <laughs> the, the, the language kind of dissolves itself because you have to speculate on what dust is. You can't have one speck of dust. What would <laughs> what would that be? You know, come what, in how, how would you know? Yeah, come has to like has to come in groups at least, <laughs> like us, <laughs> right? So the language. Uh, that's what I wrote in the song. Is the language itself. This thing that we, we think of, and this is the debacle that we're in on Wall Street. This is the debacle that we're in between the Christians, the Arabs, and the Jews. This is the debacle that we're in all around the world because we're searching for a universal language. Okay. And it's not Esperanto. I'll give you a trick question. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've seen You that. always do this. <laughs> all your questions are tricks. <laughs> okay, you know, what a, you know what a unicycle is. Yes. No, you don't. <laughs> because it's a mon One cycle. It, it, it's a monocycle. Uh -huh. You see, it's real. A unicycle would have to have Everything parts that cycle. would be, a, would be right, united like a with each other. Universal cycle. You have a monocycle, a bicycle, a and a tricycle. But so therefore, what people are calling monotheism should really be called unitheism. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once we understand that, that's how the the universe. The language of the universe, mm -hmm. the verses of the universe, are a, a conversation. Listen to the word converse at ions. I oh, oh what, what you know? It's I like, speak what, this what, language. Wait, wait, it's this okay. Other, this, this, is, this is quantum language. <laughs> totally. I know. Okay. So where is this negative and positive? That suffix always brings us to the ionic. I know. Yes. Yes. But and verse is also where so Latin, which means to turn. Mm -hmm. So what we really have with the universe is one mm -hmm. turning. Mm -hmm. So, and thus, thus we and put it in conversation. Language puts a spin on everything. Exactly. That's what it's about. The interview I did yesterday with Nassim Haramein, brilliant physicist, speaks about everything relative to spin. And so, of course, you've got electron spin, but you've got everything spinning. And when you see a universe that is that alive. You know, it's a it's a departure from anything that you would call classical physics. It's like the next step. Oh yes, it is. It's quantum. Right, 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 right. And so you end up, interestingly, <laughs> with coming full circle, no pun intended, to the idea of vibe, mm -hmm. because then you've got a vibration everywhere, and everywhere therefore is home. Absolutely. If you want to follow Abs the full absolutely, logic. Absolutely, absolutely, and all space with a wife. <laughs> I mean well, this is where this is where the uh, where Lilith Lilith is the the goddess who her name is darkness. That's what Lilith means. L i l i t h. Yes, Lilith means darkness. As Kali means darkness, and when we understand that all space is contiguous, in other words, the space inside an atom is not separated from the space outside the atom. It's contiguous with it, and the space outside it's all simply a membrane. The space outside all the what we call the material universe, there's more space, and it's contiguous with all the space between the atoms and inside. So all so space. So-called inside. This is where the vibe is taking place. Okay. This is the feminine. This is why the feminine is, is what we call negative, and because this we're, is and we're empty. Well, this the is the appearance what of empty. The language that we have today does not contain sufficient verbiage. To contain the ideas that are just being built, or to articulate, or to we cannot articulate. In fact, space cannot be articulated, which is <laughs> why it's why it's space. So right? spacious. <laughs> it's space. Spacious. <laughs> so, but but aren't you also referring in all that you're saying? <laughs> oh, it's so much fun to have <laughs> you here, Bob. <laughs> Thank you, love. Uh, uh, that the the great yin that we refer to in you know the Chinese wisdom. Yes. Uh, we refer to as emptiness. Of course, it's not really, it's filled emptiness. Yes. But it has the appearance of emptiness, so it can be penetrated by yang. Yes. Or interfaced with. Yes. Complemented yes. by. And this is where the departure from what we call physics and quantum mechanics comes in. Because physics is science, which means knowledge. Quantum is not knowledge, it's probability. Mm -hmm. And that's when we gain. That's when the male begins to gain his relationship to the female, <laughs> because that all he's ever dealing with is probability. You see, and that's the mis yes. that's the mistake, mistake. <laughs> that's the mis that's the taking of the miss 
the mistake that men are making constantly is they're thinking that women are predictable. That women should In some, some kind of linear way. Yes. Yes. Huge mistake. Yes. Exactly. Huge mistake. And that's what the that's what this Aquarian mindset finally says, wait a minute, relax. She's the goddess. She's here. Listen. Follow. Watch. <laughs> follow. 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 <laughs> follow. Yes. Submit. Precisely. Admit. Surrender. Admit. Surrender. <laughs> that's that's what it's. The a, goddess is here. That's true. Yes. I know. Om. I have learned. Yes. And uh, I, I live with. I, I know you. You know that my wife passed away in two thousand one. Yeah. And she is constantly teaching me. She's constantly telling me. Listen to the vibe. Go with the vibe, and the material will fall in place. The material world will fall. Yeah. Meditate, listen to nothing, and all of a sudden there will be this vibe that comes out of nothing. And you will have everything. And you will have everything. <laughs> Barbara was smart when she was here, and when she's not materially here. Oh. Well, that's, the, that's what's the matter with the world. <laughs> the matter, you see, we, <laughs> yeah. we think of it in terms of, oh, what's the matter with the world? No, what's the matter with the world is good. <laughs> right, right. See? So exactly. It's all in how, so the words... <laughs> the, Defy, <laughs> right. The words are just in how you... you know, and how all, you pronounce them. How... Actually, how you the, intone them. The vibe is so. the vibration is carries the meaning as yeah. much as the articulation. The articulation says this is the grammar, this is the grammar, to rule and to measure. Measure comes from Demeter. Demeter is the goddess. When we hear words like philosophy... Of earth, no less. Yes. Of philosophy is, most people say it's the love of wisdom. No, it's the love of the goddess of wisdom. Philo, Sophia. Sophia is not wisdom. Sophia is the goddess, goddess of, of wisdom. wisdom. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Psychology. Who is psyche? Psyche is the mm. goddess. People say, oh, I'm going to do psychoanalysis. No, you can't analyze psyche. Right. It right, can't right, be done. Right. Eros, the same thing. All the time. Really? The, the, the feminine has been co-opted linguistically. Yes. Now watch what happens when the Bible is written and the New Testament is written and people are reading the New Testament and today they're opening up the King James Version or whatever version of the Bible you have, and they're reading about the soul, and they're reading about wisdom. Well, when you go back to what those men were writing, they were writing words like psyche and sophia. Yeah. They were writing in Greek. So all of a sudden you say, wait a minute, where did the, where did the message go? Yeah. What was the true message? What blood, whose blood are we talking about? They're different concepts. They're related, but they're different, as you're saying. You know, it happens that since you mentioned psychoanalysis, there's an interesting analog here because Bruno Bettelheim, who translated, uh, who wrote the book Freud and Man's Soul, spoke about the mistranslation of Freud from German into English. And it was completely, how do I say, sanitized from the deep spiritual understanding that Freud actually had and articulated in German written like uh, he won prizes for uh, awards for his literary skill mm. um, but when it came into English among doctors who were the ones first interested in psychoanalysis they took the soul out of the language mm -hmm. they took everything that was mystical out mm. anyway I'm, I, that's the parallel I'm drawing and I wouldn't have done it unless you had made specific reference mm. to say mm. that shows in a sense how far out mm they went from the original meaning. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, it's all in the living, in the doing. Does that I mean, make yeah. sense? You get the, the analogy oh, between absolutely. the two. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. It's yeah. when people can't handle the meaning, you know, or the relationship. And it's clear that we as a society have not been able to handle the feminine, which is why we have become so patriarchal in the emptiest of ways, mm. really. Unfortunately, mm. we end up having a world well, in the 21st century that's still at war. Well, I mean, this is madness if you could step out of the box what, and look what in. What it is is evolutionary. If you understand that's that nice we're actually, if we're actually coming from apes. Yeah. You see, that's what most people, most people who expect to have the answer now don't really understand that there's an evolution going on. 
It, now there's the, there's the idea of the. I understand. Yes, there's evolve, evolve and here's I, I have a saying exactly. that exactly you cannot be spiritually evolved unless you're physically involved. And to be involved yeah. means to take on the world. I mean, to be involved means to sure. actually say, oh, I'm going to do something about this. The first thing I'm going to do is meditate. The it's first an thing I'm going to do revolution, literally involvement. <laughs> Invol yes. Right. But there is a, there is an exvolvement. Right. And that's when well, you Well, evolve will be to move out. Yes. From where you're involved in. Yes. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're out of time even if it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> time spelled back with his emit, E M I E M I T. <laughs> Bala, you are shining <laughs> and radiant as ever. It is truly a joy <laughs> for me to share this space with you. And I thank you so much for sharing your music and oh, song well with thanks. our audience and everybody else. Yay. So uh, keep up the good work. And well, your next book well, is thank fun you. And we will have you back again, if not before. Well, thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah. This is Mitchell J. Rabin for A Better World. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed Bala and his richness as much as I did, as you saw, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all next week. <laughs>